Well, that year, Kanye's All Day mm -hmm. ended up getting nominated for a Grammy. Yeah. Are you on that record? No, I produced it. You produced it. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. So well, there's a lot of producers on there, right? I remember like, yeah. it's like, I looked it up, there's... Yeah, I shot the Chloe on that record. We went to go see Kanye, me and her. Okay. Me and her went to go see Kanye. He had right. a he, he had a crib on a um in Beverly Hills somewhere. And he was he was he was recording I'm about winning now. And me and her sitting down and we we were supposed to do a song, me and him. Yeah. And Chloe was and I was playing beats. Chloe Chloe told Kanye, she was like Take one of these fucking beats and do them. Like she said, how she was talking to. Him. She was like, she was talking to him like that in front of everybody. She's like, take one of these fucking beats and do them right now. I'm like, yo, you wildin'. She was dead serious, and he went and he rapped over three of those beats uh. that I had on the computer, and one of them beats ended up being a single. That's how crazy it is. Right, I'm looking at this song. Yeah, and songwriters and producers is like a mile long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kanye, Paul McCartney. Yeah. Uh, Sean Combs, Mike Dean. Oh, yeah, he, you. He, yeah, he has uh, everybody. Travis Scott, Plain Pat. Yeah, he has I mean, it, it, no, it's, but it's I, just... I, yeah, I, but I, I walked in and I gave him the beat. Right. No, I understand. I'm not, I'm not downplaying. I'm yeah, just yeah. saying that by the time it was done, no, it was a lot not, of no, he does, but, yeah. but he does that, but I could easily like be like, no, I don't want nobody on my shit. Yeah. But well, I, you, you know, sure, I'm not, I'm well, not, I'm not one of them people that need the money. So right. it's just like, all right, just give me my credit. Is that when you met Kanye around that time? No. I met Kanye when I when I dropped Shot Caller. Oh, when he was trying to sign you back then. Yeah, he, uh -huh. he okay. called me and he... Deb was trying to get me to sign with Kanye. Ah. Me Which wouldn't... That could have really worked out. That was that was Deb's choice for me. Deb was like, yo, go with Kanye, don't go with Puff. You know what I'm saying? But when, I remember when I met up with Kanye, he invited me to bre breakfast. It was Matt Early. I wanted to go meet him Matt Early. So I, I was I was sitting there talking to him, and he was just like, the whole time he was talking about his vision, this and that, he had good music, this and that. But then at the end of the conversation, I realized I was just sitting there, and and and, and Kanye was just talking about like the fashion and everything that he was going to do. And I was like, yo, how am I going to hit you up? And he was like, here's my email. <laughs> he doesn't have a phone. Yeah, he's like, here's my email. This, and I was like, all right. I, I, for me, it was more, especially how it was coming up, it was more, me and Ross had like a real friendship. Me and Puff, me and, you know, Wayne, Drake, everybody was like real friendship. And he was talking about he was moving to London when I was talking to him. He was like, I'm about to move to London. I'm going to go real hard on, the, um, you know, and all this stuff, this and that. He's like, he's going to move. And I was just like, email you. I'm like, I don't, I don't even have an email. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, but but throughout the time from that time that I sat down with him to now, we became one of the closest friends. So yeah, shout out to, shout out to Kanye. I just dropped the album with two Kanye records on it. So exactly, yeah, exactly. And like I said, that song got nominated for a Grammy. That was your first Grammy nomination. Yeah, that was my first Grammy nomination. Right. Yeah. 